I bought four boxes of cosmetics from John Pye. Stay tuned, let's have a look! Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in again. Um, I have bought four boxes of John Pye cosmetic items the other day. I just could not resist the cosmetics again, so there we are. Um, it's only one box arrived so far, the other three are on the way believe it or not, is the same DPD uh, delivery driver delivered one box today and I'm waiting for the other three to come in. So um, I didn't want to sit around and wait as you do. So let's have a look what we've got. Um, the box is the same size as the box from the last place. And what a difference. This box is only 10 kilos and I can imagine that it's all packed in nicely. So let's have a look. Um, it's all taped in really well. The box not arrived damaged at all. Um, let's have a look. I love this, they all use their John Pie. I couldn't find a knife, so I have to use scissors. Here we are. I have, um, if you guys follow the channel, I always suggest if you do buy something and if you do buy stuff from the auctions and if you buy of the same items, do clear the lot. Um, because if you imagine you have another five or ten people buying the same hundred items, um, you end up selling them on eBay or Amazon and you end up competing for the buy box and the prices. So if you have an opportunity, a lot of the same items do buy them all. So, so I did. Um, this one, the majority, I think we had the hair care products and of course I bought them all just to stop anybody else getting there. Look at that, nicely packaged. Nicely packaged. And you can reuse because it's nice and clean. Reuse some materials. So, those boxes, four boxes, costed me, I think, about £3,000. And it's all together, there are 50, 54 lots. Uh, the delivery costed 33, sorry, £36 for the DPD. It was a premium delivery, so they upgraded this for us because today is Saturday and it's arrived like 8 o'clock in the morning or something. So, yes, 54 lots. Um, each lot had only a few items in there, so let's have a look. Um, it came in in the DPD bags. That's weird. But mind you, the John Pye, I think their sponsored courier is DPD. It's all they use. So each lot, I believe, will have... Yeah. I'll show you what we have. Oh, yes. This is what I was after. They're Kerastas, um hair masks. And each lot, I think, had... Uh, about four of them in each lot and I think I ended up paying between 38 and 51 pounds per lot plus the fees so it does work out like quite a bit but they are I think between 28 and 25 pounds. I worked out that if I did uh, sell them at the worst price of 25 pounds on eBay with the fees and postage I ended up making 10 pounds per box that's about 40 pounds per lot. I think out of that whole thing I think 34 lots are those guys so I do have, have a lot of them uh, they are all literally nice and sealed nice and perfect so this is literally what I was after um, I think the yeah majority of the price came from that as you imagine about 60 pound a lot um, so I think unfortunately this box for you is going to be just them the reason is I said that I wanted to um, to have this all because they are all nicely sealed and perfect. I can easily list them on Amazon or send them off to the Amazon FBA. Um, they're fairly light and easy to package. You can put them in a big jiffy, uh, big jiffy bag, and it's it's just easy money really. Um, and as I said, I have cleared I think all of them apart from one or two lots when they're gone for about sixty quid for four. So I thought, well, let somebody else have a dab and make no money whatsoever. So you know, there you have it. Um, I think. But you can see they've actually taken a bit of a more greater care of packaging. Although, yes, they're not in a bubble wrap, but I have a lot of bubble wrap underneath. And they all individually done per lot. So, like, unlike the previous place, I couldn't possibly distinguish which lots were which. This one is, I've got lots of stickers on the each of the creams, so I know exactly what lot number is in each bag. So if I do need to check this, if I feel they've not sent me something, I can easily see, which is brilliant. So hands off to John Pye. This is not the first time I bought from John Pye. And I must say, their customer service and their packing is impeccable. Um, considering I paid £36 for postage, there's four big boxes, and they actually given the monkeys when they package the items. It's I can't really floor the... Um, 
I can't really afford the jump eye. So um, I know the cosmetic stuff, it um, doesn't come often to the jump eye, but every time I seem to remember to have a look, uh, they always said something, so I end up always buying something. I cannot just resist. And I keep saying it time and time again, the cosmetic stuff is an absolute nightmare, but when it's easy money or easy, just easy stuff to deal with, I just cannot resist it. So there were some other creams. There's a bunch of little collagen creams in there. I think there was a lot of about 36 or 40. Um, I think they are about 10 or 15 pounds each. And yeah, I think I only paid like 70 quid, so I should be able to make, I don't know, 100 something pounds for the bag. Um, again, easy, easy, easy. That's all the same again. Ooh, I'm not sure what's in there, something round. I can't actually remember what I bought, but. But yeah, John Pye, you can, I think, um, slowly, they're starting to have people to come in and view, so you're able to view what you're buying and those are some other creams in there look at that see they took a great care it's only i think six i know what they are little six little face washes but look at that they bubble wrap them nicely it's just like it's well done guys well done um yeah there's four creams again there's them again yeah okay so yeah in this one or oh, let's see what's in that one all the rest are all the same. And I said that basically I think I have about 120 of those hair masks in all the boxes coming. So, oh yeah, there's a couple more of them and something else. I think I might, I might, don't quote me on this, depending, I might decide to, um, some more care stuff stuff, might to decide to send them to FBA, um, but I don't know. Um, it's a bank holiday weekend. I want to get some more money as possible out of that lot. Obviously, it owes us quite a lot of money. Um, if people are buying this weekend, I'm going to put them up on Amazon and eBay and see what happens by the end of bank holiday. If I sold a few of them, then I'd probably keep them and just send them myself. If not, then I send them off to FBA. Um, if you haven't done this, the um, when you send stuff to FBA, it takes a little bit of time. Obviously, you have to process, you have to stick the stickers on the... Um, barcode send them off book the collection and it takes normally by the time the amazon actually list the items it could take anything up to two weeks um to be fair i would like to think i would sell those within two weeks because i think their sales rank is quite high um but yeah i don't really feel like i want to wait two weeks to have them sold but we'll see what happens so let's wait until i have another box and you see me in a minute Okay, I am back. It was not a five minute. I had to wait for another two days to receive the remaining three boxes from John Pye. Believe this or not, each and one of those boxes arrived separate time with a different courier by DPD. Nonetheless, I have them all now. I have four boxes in total. Um, I am very, very happy again with the remaining of the packaging by the John Pye. Everything else, it's still been really, really well padded. I have the bubble wrap, I had the paper. So all in all, I am absolutely 100% pleased with the service of the John Pye. Um, basically, the moral of the story of this video is actually just to confirm to you guys that if you do buy stuff from John Pye or any other, um, any other auction house, if you do have... Um, if you do see them selling the same item and providing obviously you have the funds to do so, do clear the whole lot. It just basically just to avoid yourself a competition when you then end up selling this stuff on eBay or Amazon. Is you've seen those hair care stuff that I bought, all those boxes there pretty much have the same the same item apart from one or two extra bits that I bought. Um, as I said, I've put them on over the weekend and I already started selling them, so which is all good. Um, the remainder of the stuff I probably will send off to Amazon FBA because there's quite few. And obviously I want to be able to make sure that these guys are stored correctly and have a proper sort of um, temperature control environment. So I'll get them sent off. But um, as a main thing, basically, yes, um, John Pye is a great place to buy stock, but do obviously be careful, do work out your prices. It's 46% uh, gets added on on the top of what you bid, and obviously then post the John top. So do keep an eye on that. Do have a lot of stuff coming up. And if you do see anything, obviously do try to clear this, just again, to minimize your competition. It works for me promise you it works um otherwise well thank you for watching anyway i hope you enjoyed this little brief video basically it's a <laughs> review of a john pie uh, thank you for watching again if you haven't subscribed already please do and don't forget to put thumbs up see you soon bye bye